What we're going to be looking at today is receiving payments. I look at my bank statement and find that there is a receipt for $100 on the 19th of July and a reference against it says Fred number 3. If I click on receive payments and I go to the customer list at the top, it says who have I got? My customer for $175 outstanding. If I use that customer, we're looking for the invoice number, number three, from my customer. The amount I've received is $100, so I put in there where it's currently blue, up here, $100. Press tab, it takes me along to the payment method. I could put in there the method of payment, such as bank transfer. It's on my bank statement. I didn't receive a check or anything like that. If I click on the down arrow there, it allows me to select the sort of uh, transaction it was. Whether it was an American Express, whether they pay by cash or check, whether it was MasterCard or a money order. In this particular case, I'll just ignore it. It just went straight into my bank. I'm not too worried about how it was done. The other thing I look at is, do I want to include it with the undeposited funds? In other words, monies that I have received but I haven't yet banked. In this particular case, the amount has gone straight into the bank, so I will change the amount to my check account. Click on check account, use that account, and now it will go straight into my check account on the 19th of July. The amount I received was $100, which I can apply against $175. If I press tab, it will fill in the total applied. I don't have any finance charges. Occasionally there might be a need to use a finance charges where you've got an odd one or two cents. Your uh, invoice was for $197.97. They paid you $197.95 into your bank. You can write off the additional two cents or shortfall of two cents using the finance charge. If I now click record, it will apply that $100 against $175. If I cancel, if I now look at my sales register for the open invoices, my customer now only owes me $75. I'm not the $100 off the $175. Click close and we're now back at sales.